so today is March 1st and today I'm doing another update of my plants. It is getting really warm now so it's now feeling more like spring. It's probably the final countdown for this greenhouse and everybody inside of it. Uh, first thing I have right here is this. <laughs> so two weeks ago I went to a live pruning demonstration. Of course, pruning the trees, you get cuttings and all of these are flowering and putting on leaves. So this, yeah, it's a peach cutting right there. Fig cutting right here. Fig cutting has this green bud on it. But of course it has no roots on it just yet. I don't think these are going to root anytime soon. But as long as these guys are alive and they're growing like, they, like they're doing right now, I might have to break these off later on, but I just, it's really cool to see this though. Uh, this whole area right here, right there, down here, it's my new seed station. Uh, so right here are white sapotes. It's white sapotes, large. And that is, yeah, well over a month ago. So, uh, month and a week roughly and these started coming up i think two weeks ago or last week here's another one I had this hat with my phone recently so i don't think it's focusing very well like as it did if it focused good anyway in, in the past but um yeah there's two right here um right here are some citrons these are citrons right here in front of me and yeah, more of these are popping up i believe right here is fire lemon um, there's banded spots on the end, but yeah, they're, they're, they're coming up, they're coming up. Uh, so these are the, uh, sorrel hibiscus. These, these were started here in the greenhouse, and yesterday I finally brought the ones that were in my apartment. They're outside at the moment, but, uh, they are looking really good. Um, they're already doing, uh, multiple sets of leaves, because I think last week they started to get another, uh, branch coming out. I have these, these are some citrons. I think it's been a month, over a month now. So citrons, yeah, over a month. Here are the most of the one-year-old uh, cherimoyas. These these tall ones right here are the, are the one-year-olds. And they're, they're, they love it in here. They're getting too tall for this over here. And then these smaller ones right there, those are from this past summer. These are a little bit younger. These definitely, these two are the uh, one-year-olds. One-year-old cherimoyas. Yeah. So here's the other one. See how big that it has gotten already. Look how big it is. So pretty. And considering all of these, all of these uh, one-year-old cherimoyas had a setback back in April or May of last year, so they they definitely should be bigger, but they're as big as they get right now. So they look really good. <laughs> this thing has exploded. All of that stuff right there is brand new with this low quad, as you can see. Goodness, it's got big. And it's been here this entire time. Oh, that's nice to see. So this, that jackfruit right there is growing back. Looks like they're, they're all growing back a little bit. You know, they didn't grow new during, while they were in here, but pretty soon they're gonna come out. So, you know, get some, do growth in while you can but it's getting really big all of these dragon fruits are getting really big i see that one right there is falling they're all bent and growing like uh they they, they need room <laughs> um down there those are the air pruned loquat something's eating off of them probably that big old cricket that's on them <laughs> but they're 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 growing every time i see them there's something new segment so they're they're doing really good um the other other tamers back there <laughs> can't really tell but yeah everybody needs to come out it's just really it's just really cluttered in here <laughs> yeah i think these are pretty much it all that i can reach right now uh, the spring like weather's coming, everybody's growing, everybody's growing awesome. It's, it's getting to the point where it's a little becoming a little bit dangerous in here. So I'll be checking the weather, checking all these plants, making sure that they're not going to be zapped or fried or anything like that. I'm going to keep this vented, make sure everybody's safe, happy, and, and growing. <laughs>